Hello everybody, my name is Tina. For those of you who do not know me, I am a homeschooling mother of two, a homeschooling consultant, and a health and wellness coach. And all this week, I have been talking about different perks and different things about Amazon. Well, today I'm going to talk very, very briefly about the pros and cons um, of being an author or using Amazon as your platform to for um, you to um, put out your book. Um, this is just my personal opinion, personal opinion on it. Everyone has their own opinion on it, but this is just my personal experience of, of being a co-author with my friend. And keep in mind, I'm relatively new in it because we publish our book the end of August or the beginning of September. Um, one of those. So it's only been like a couple of months. This is like two, two months. So these are some things that I have noticed. Say, for example, I'm telling you this because just in case you have a desire to become an author, maybe you're a person who sit around and write books or poetry or comic books or self-help books. You have, you have planners, you do amazing worksheets for your children and your homeschool, or you may be a business professional and you uh, mentor different individuals. And you said, well, someone may have told you, wow, the information that you're giving me, you should put it in a book. And you know, it's several different ways in which you can go about doing books. The reason why my friend and I decided to do Amazon was because we didn't have no upfront money for upfront costs. And that is one of the perks, um, one of the pros of becoming or using Amazon as your platform to write your book. Hey, Liz. Um, that's one of the um, perks. Like, and the process is not as long. Like, if you have your materials and your stuff ready and you input it and you go through their editorial process where they, like, look at edits and all that and then you pass that, they will actually put your book out relatively fast um, if, you, if everything is okay with the edits and stuff like that. Whereas when you go with a traditional booking company, Producing one book could take you anywhere between 6 to 18 months. It just depends on how long your book is, what genre your book falls into, whether it's educational, whether it's a novel, whether it's a self-help book. Different things come into play when you're trying to become an author, when you're trying to self-publish or work with a, 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 a traditional um, book company. So... And that's one of the um, the the cons of going with a traditional publishing company. And of course, with a traditional public um, publishing company, you have to pay a fee, and it's not like a small fee. It the fee can go into the thousands. I have received several different quotes from several different companies that um, was not Amazon, and you had to come out your pocket with thousands of dollars and we did not have that to to publish our book so that was a big mm -mm for us at this point in time um although some companies do offer a payment plan that you can actually pay uh one lump sum like if it's three thousand dollars you pay fifteen hundred dollars up front and then you pay um payments divided into 12 months if um the other the fifteen hundred that is left over, rather you pay that in um, twelve month installments. You can actually do that. Hey Heather, but that's with a traditional publishing company. And most of us, like me, when you're first starting out, who has three grand or two grand or one thousand dollars to give someone to publish a book? I don't have it. Um, so. The one of the pros is is that when you use Amazon, which they just changed their platform because Amazon used to, platform for self publishing used to be called um <clears throat> excuse me Creator Space <clears throat> excuse me but they just changed over from Creator Space to Kindle Direct and so it's a more user friendly platform where you can easily transition your um 
hard copy book or soft coffee copy book to uh kindle and ebook and stuff like that <clears throat> excuse me it must be the weather outside it's raining over here in south carolina well anyway so you can easily do the transition now another um pro in my opinion with working with amazon when you want to be a self-publisher and you don't have any money to start off to pay for someone to help publish your book this is another pro you don't have to come out. It's a free service. You can open up your your account, open up your account, and you can actually start um, writing your book. Another pro is, like I said, the turnover, whereas you can relatively get your book out pretty fast if you go through all the clearance with the editing. That's another pro. Another pro, in my opinion, of working with Amazon to publish your book is that you don't have to worry about buying um, your book and storage in it, like buying a whole lot. Then you have to be the one to actually handle the book, handle the inventory and send everything out. Your books are print on demand. So as individuals order your particular book, Amazon will print it out and ship it out and they handle everything. You no longer have to handle, um, you never have to handle customer service dealing with your book. Um, not unless you want to specifically, if someone write like a, a comment or a review on it and you want to like comment and reply to them, you can do that. But you don't have to deal with like shipping. You don't have to deal with returns. You don't have to deal with inventory. You don't have to deal with stocking those books in your house. That's another pro, um, thing. And another thing with, um, being with Amazon, they actually give the author a discounted rate on how they can actually they can actually buy their books for a cheaper price. So that's another pro. So they actually print the book out and give you an author's discount um, so that you can get the books in your get your copy of your book in your hand and see how it looks and all that good stuff. And then you can and you don't have to pay whatever your price is. You don't have to pay full price because you are the author of the book. And as a perk. Amazon gives the author a discount on purchasing their own book from them. Now, think about, let's see, the cons, in my opinion, of um, being an author, a co-author of a book with Amazon, just in case you want to know. I personally do not like the high percentage that Amazon takes on each um, sale of your book per unit. They call it units. So Amazon takes a pretty large, a pretty large um, percentage wise, um, in my personal opinion. But when you're just starting out and you don't have any upfront money to start out, that's why we decided to do it. So you, 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 you win some and you lose some. Amazon have way more pros than cons. So that's why we didn't let that be a deal breaker for us because we're trying to get our feet wet, get it out of the door because we know we have a really, really good product and it's going to help unique learners, active learners, children that need to move while they learn. No longer you're telling your active child to sit down, sit down, sit down. We're actually encouraging them to move through active play and also adding the education on it with spelling and reading and all that good stuff. So that your child will have a good platform to stand on. So we have a very, very good product, but we're two homeschooling moms and we did not have all that money to start out. So that's why Amazon was better for us. Uh, but if you have the upfront cost and the money and all that to be a self-publisher, I feel like that would be the best deal for you because after you pay all your upfront, front and fees and costs and stuff like that to do your book and then they do all the advertising and all that stuff like that this is i'm talking about um outside traditional booking companies and then they use them from every sale that you make on the book they usually take like 20 cent back for each book or something like that but with amazon they take way way hey felicia with Amazon, they take way, way more percentage, um, like way more. <laughs> they take way more of a percentage. So it would take you a more longer time to make a profit um, with Amazon versus a private booking company. But with private means more fees and more upfront costs, whereas with 
Amazon, you don't have to do all that, but yet you um, can still earn money on your book, but the, the, the percentage is smaller. It is smaller. Um, but on the, um, another pro is, is this with Amazon. You need to think of the big picture. If you're a person like me that do not have thousands of dollars or a thousand dollars to, to go out like me and my um, co-author, we didn't have the money to go out into a private publishing company. So Amazon worked better for us. Amazon is a very, very broad and unique and international platform. So you need to think outside the box. You might be saying, well, I don't want them to take that large percentage from me right now. And why not? Because you don't have to handle the product once you input it. And although it may take you a little bit longer to make more of a profit, it's still worth it if you don't want to have all those books stacked up in your house. If you don't want to have... Um, you don't want to have to handle customers and inventory and stuff like that. And you don't have to run. You don't have to have no website to put your book on, to try to sell it. You don't have to go out there and promote it. Amazon give you little perks when you put a book on there. You can actually advertise your book using their platform. Amazon give you the choice of whether or not you want to actually distribute your book internationally or not. So... It's, it's a big picture when you think about, although, yeah, Amazon take a large, large percentage, in my personal opinion, um, <laughs> but when you think about you using their platform, you're, um, you don't have to do any of the maintenance and any of the customer service, any of the storage, any of the inventory. You don't have, you can actually uh, self promote your book on Amazon by featuring, doing an advertisement. I think you have to pay a fee because I have never done it. Because keep in mind, my friend and I have only uh, been doing it for about two months. So I'm still, we still new, but I just want to share this with you just in case you have desires or aspirations to become an author, but you lack the funds or upfront costs like I, my friend and I, I mean, we did not have $3,000, $2,000, $1,000 to give someone to start a book and then have to pay monthly fees after that for an entire year on something. So Amazon, we didn't have to do that. Um, yes, um, Felicia, you can actually go international. Like they have options that you can pick and choose if you want your book international or not. So you can find our book on, um, not only on the United States, Amazon, you can find on, um, Amazon, Canada, Amazon, Australia, Amazon, China. I mean, even though our book is not Chinese, but you do have some Chinese individuals who take Americanized books. I want to know any pitfalls you encounter. Yeah, I will let you know because, see, I am still new to it. So the only con, in my personal opinion, with Amazon thus far, with being a new author, new co-author, is that the percentage that they take. And, Felicia, if you want to know about the percentages and how it actually breaks down, I can talk to you privately about that. But um, the percentage is relatively high in my opinion, but when you think about the greater, the whole picture of it, it's really not too bad because it's kind of like a hands-off kind of thing once you produce your book. Once you produce your book, you have it out there. You don't have to do all the advertisement. You can share your link and different stuff with your book. You can um, um pay. I think you have to pay an extra to actually advertise your book. You can actually sponsor a giveaway um, on Amazon because Amazon actually featured giveaways as well in case you didn't know. And you can actually make your product or your book a featured giveaway to draw more clientele to your um, particular uh product or your particular book or whatever you have out on Amazon. You can draw attention by doing a giveaway directly on Amazon with your product. Now, I haven't done that. Yet. <laughs> uh, yep, you can spend time promoting. Like like um, Felicia said, there are so many different things that Amazon offers. And if you have those books or those notebooks, like I, when I was growing up, I was a voracious writer. Like I wrote poetry, I wrote novels, I wrote stories, just similar to my daughter. Hey, Dwayne. And 
I never done anything with them. Like I enter a couple contests and you will find me in a lot of different, um, in the early nineties, you will find me in a whole lot of different, um, literary, uh, like you go into like a little contest and stuff. And then if you win the contest, they put you in a book with other people or other students, your age, and they feature your little poem or whatever like that. Yeah, I have had that, but never really done anything with it. So I'm just trying to let you guys know if you have a child right now, I'm trying to encourage my daughter to let go some of her work. Cause she writes, Ooh, she does so well. Um, if you have any writings, any poetry, or, or you have ever had a desire to do like a health book, a wellness book, a planner, um, what um, Felicia said, me too. I need to get to my writing out there. Yeah, you need to get your writing out there. You um, anything that you can share that you that you feel is of value, and the only thing stopping you is money. Like that was my excuse. I don't have the money. I don't have the money. I don't have the money, which I didn't because it wasn't no it wasn't no untrue. I'm like oh, I don't got no three thousand dollars just to put on put on the book. Well, you don't have to. You can use Amazon as a free platform to actually self-publish your book with them. And you can actually turn your book over to an e-book. Yes, and they encourage you to actually, if you have like a novel, a portrait, or whatever, people can have your unique information, your unique story, whatever on your heart of hearts. They can have that at, with them everywhere on their electronic device. And so, I mean, and paying two, three dollars for it, yeah, it might sound like a little bit of money, but when you add that up over a period of time and more people buy it, that's a, that could be a good little chunk of money. <laughs> I don't care about taking, bringing my money in in little se segments. I don't care about it. But um, I just wanted to let you guys know, like a lot of people look at me like, wow, Tina do this, she do that. And oh, I could never do that. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. I am no special case. You can do exactly what I'm doing and you can do it even better. So if you have any works, some artworks, you can do art books, you can do puzzles, you can do um, self-help, you can do, you can even write a book about your personal journey, your life, your struggles. If you had a thing dealing with weight, um, and your, your journey through whatever you had to go through with losing weight, your journey with, um, learning differences as a parent, your homeschooling journey, your work or career journey. Cause there are certain people that are out there that is looking specifically for something in that genre. So don't think that whatever you have may not be of use or value. It's I guarantee it's somebody out there that's looking for it. They just don't know it's out there yet. Like right now, my friend and I are in the process of getting our book out to more and more people because like I said, we we are only like two months in the game, just two months in it. So, but I wanted being that Amazon was my theme this week. I wanted to share this with you. Now, many people, like I said, will not share the stuff that I share with you for absolutely free. Um, and they won't share it even if you, they, they just won't share it. But I'm a person like this. If I find something out that could be of help or some value for someone and so that they won't have to struggle or uh, the way that I have or just don't understand or just don't know or give up before they even start it because I tried before and I just was like, I just had no one to mentor me in, in, in to help me. So that's why I said, you know what? I know it's a lot of moms out there, a lot of dads, a lot of educators out there, a lot of health and wellness coaches, a lot of business mentors, social media, um, networking, um, marketing um, people and individuals that have some good value of information. They're unique. They are inspirational when they talk to different individuals and usually they say, man, I, the information that you taught me, this is so good. I wish somebody else would have told me. That is a perfect opportunity for you to start putting that stuff in writing and use a free, a free platform like Amazon to do it on. Yeah, they take a large percentage, but think about all the stuff you don't have to do. So that is all I had to say today. Oh, and I just want to remind you guys, for those of you who want to know how to become a reviewer like me and you have low social media presence and you don't have a lot of following and you're trying to figure out 
I want to I want to receive some free stuff or discounted stuff too. But I know I can't do that because I don't have this, that, and the other. Guess what? I didn't have this, that, and the other, and I'm still what I call the unofficial reviewer. And it helped to save me thousands of dollars in reference to educational resources and supplies and different things like that for my children. And also, I, we have branch out to help other homeschoolers and even some public schoolers with the different um, books and resources for absolutely free and then some stuff we actually got for a discount as well i will be teaching you all the things that i know that i have been doing over the years that have really really helped like keep money into our pockets or lighten the load of how much we have to actually put out for certain stuff so if you want to know how to become a reviewer come pm me and that class will be happening november 6th at 6 p.m and i don't want you to get uh nervous or overwhelmed because the class is set up in such a way that you can do it at your own pace yes it's 17 units of video instruction where you're going to be talking back and forth to me through video and i'm also going to be going live in there and i also have three more different bonuses or secrets that i'm going to tell you about becoming a reviewer and i am also i just found out something brand new that i am doing that i am going to share only with those 25 in the well 24 now individuals that are taking the class and so you can actually do what i'm doing so you may be saying oh but Tina, I'm not a homeschooler, I'm a public schooler, and that information will not be of use to me. Well, I'm going to tell you you're wrong because this information is adaptable. It can be used whether you're a homeschooler or not because the things that I'm going to be sharing with you can help you in the wider perspective of things. You don't have to worry about uh, thinking that this is just homeschool. Yes, it benefits homeschoolers because we do have a great out-of-pocket expense in most cases, um, especially when you add learning differences on top of that or gifting and talent on top of that. But this can help anyone facilitate themselves as a unofficial reviewer or maybe you just want to get products or resources to support um, like a foundation or um, a group of children like a boys and girls club kind of thing and you're trying to get some resources for underprivileged children um, and you're trying to find like books and different stuff like that for them. Well,